What's up everybody, Lego Gabe here, and welcome back to another Lego review video. Today we have set number uh, 76141. Uh, <laughs> it is for ages 6 and up. This is from Lego Avenger. I think it's from 2020, I'm not sure. Maybe late 2019. And it has 152 pieces, and it comes with one minifigure. So let's just go straight ahead and take a look at that minifigure, shall we? The minifigure we get here is um, our first minifig Thanos that is actually uh, that has big legs. The last time we got one of these was in a Mighty Micros, and I think that was back in uh, 2016, 2017, I don't know, somewhere around there. But um, it looks like they tried to copy the design of his armor from the movies. I mean, you can see like all the gold plating and stuff, and he's got the dark navy blue shirt and pants, and then he's got lots of gold detail, I like that, and he's got these pearl gold hands, and his pearl gold knight's helmet, or whatever it is, and then his face print, he only has one, but as you can see, they got like the raisin chin on there, it's kind of hard to see, it won't focus, but he's got red, his red glowing eyes, which is pretty creepy, but um, yeah, and, and then, yeah, no back face print. Next up, we got the Thanos mech, which I think is, um, I mean, it's a pretty small, simplified build. It's not, like, supposed to be giant, like, I don't know, the Monkey King mech from the new Monkey Kid series or whatever. But, um, it, it uses these miniature ball joints, about, like, two on every arm, three on every arm, my bad. So this, this, uh, right arm here from... Thanos' perspective would be the light right arm, but for us it's the left arm. So it's got this nice shiny gold um, plating up here. I don't know, I don't remember what that color is called. I know this color is pearl gold. I forgot what that one is, but that's a different kind of gold. But um, I like how they incorporate two different t kinds of gold in here. And they have this um, this little piece here for part of the arm, and then they have this stickered one by two slope piece there, curved piece or whatever. And then they got these robot arms for the fingers, which we usually see on robots nowadays. And this is like a, yeah, just a normal hand. And over here on the left hand for the Infinity Gauntlet, or the right arm for us, um, it's a humongous hand. But that's so that way it can hold all six Infinity Stones. So you got the Mind Stone, the Soul Stone, the Reality Stone, the Space Stone, the Power Stone, and the Time Stone. This is the thumb, these are all the other four fingers, and this is the wrist. And so, yeah, this is, I mean, it's got lots of articulation in the fingers. They got two joints, one here at this fork-like piece, and then one here for the tip of the finger. So it's pretty accurate to a normal finger. And then they got this stickered piece here again, and then they got the sh same shoulder de design. So the only thing different are the hands. And then up here is a cockpit where you can put Thanos. It comes out about that much. That's it. It's got this uh, Nexonite shield. That's a print, I believe. Yeah, that's a print. I don't remember putting a sticker on there. But it looks a little off-centered for me, which is just sets my OCD off, making it so triggered. But, um, so it's got those little, uh, hold on, let me see if I can get, like, a light in here. It's got, like, the little foot stand in there. So, you can just slide in Thanos, just like that, close it up, and you're good to go. He's a little wiggly, though, he's a little wobbly, so he might fall out if you shake him around too much. And then, at the waist here, we got, there's a gold bar there, and on the bottom, it's got this, uh, I don't know, this three-way ball joint Technic piece. And then, oh, let me just take Thanos out. Yeah, here. And then... Um, it's got the, the same stickered pieces, the same exact design, I believe. And then we got the knees over here, which is pretty, it's a pretty elaborate knee. They, they, yeah, they got a lot, a lot of stuff going on there. And the foot, pretty flat. Uh, got this round piece in the bottom, pearl gold, one by two, weird type of piece there. And, <laughs> and then, yeah, same design, both legs, nothing different there. And... There goes the light. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so I guess uh, let's just pose this dude, see what kind of weird, funny poses we can get out of him. So here we have him once he's engulfed his true potential and he's got maximum power. He's got, like, his arms up like that. 
Now it looks like he's break dancing, getting ready to show off some cool moves. Now he's doing a handstand, but I mean, like, if you look at the spread of those hands, that's pretty straight. This one, this thing, this hand is massive compared to the other one. I mean, I, that's pretty insane. But I guess it's time to take a look at the packaging. So the box for this one is like a new uh, $10 box size for this set. Oh, I forgot to put the price. $10, there you go. <laughs> it shows the, the minifigure you get, the mech, and then it's got some nice, like, space rock or whatever artwork. And then you got all the space up there. Or not rock, like meteor, planet, moon, whatever. And then you got the Avengers logo. And on the back, you got another uh, set with Thanos jumping out of the mech or whatever. The instructions here are like a new size. I don't really see the, this instruction size that often. And then on the back, you got the Wind Pirate. You got some advertisement for the new 2020 Lego sets. I mean, yeah, the first wave of 2020. Yeah, there's a bike chase or whatever that is. And then there's a truck. And then there's the Iron Man mech and the Thanos mech. I don't have any of those except for the Thanos mech. Then over here, you got advertisement for the early 2020 Spider-Man sets. The Spider-Man mech, Spider-Crawler, maybe like a Spider-Jet. I don't know, I'm not too familiar with the names. And, uh, I think that's instructions, of course. And, uh, yeah. So, overall, I think this is a pretty good set for $10 with what's included. I love the Infinity Gauntlet build here. And, um, rock and action pose pieces are not included in this set. By action pose, I mean that little piece there. Comes in the DC minifigure series. But, um, yeah, this is a great set for 10 bucks would highly recommend it for young builders who are starting out or if you just like collecting mechs I in general really love Lego mechs I have quite a bit of them actually so um yeah if you like this review make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you would rate this uh, 1 out of 10 and um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video